Ready, Hobo Chuck? Yeah. So easy. Just any hobos in the room. Who knew? I picked up 
with the world's most talented hobo. <laughs> A voice like an angel, right? Like an opera hobo. <laughs> hobo Pavarotti. <laughs> what luck I had picking him up right? of all hobos. Fascinating. I would love to know what you were doing with your life before it all went terribly, terribly wrong. Starring in the hobo of the opera, of course. <laughs> the hobo of the opera. I'd pay to watch that, right? Oh yeah. Instead of a chandelier, a big trash can falls from the ceiling. <laughs> Instead of a mask, he has a piece of ham on his face. <laughs> uh, props, I'm gonna need another mask. <laughs> Instead of taking her on a boat ride, he's just pushing her in a shopping cart. <laughs> Kill us. Violent hobo who sings like an angel. <laughs> ah. Did anybody leave during that song? It happens every show. Every somebody gets mad and leaves. It's usually a dude with like a big thick neck and a cut off tap out t-shirt, like, what the fuck? It's my tats, motherfucker. Shit's personal. Talk about a man's tattoos. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass after the show, son of a bitch. <laughs> His girlfriend's embarrassed. She's like, Troy, just sit down. Troy, shut up. Get off me, cinnamon. <laughs> it's bullshit. I'm being lobby waiting for him. And you know, he's only angry because as I was singing the tattoos, she was pointing them out on his body. <laughs> yep, Hello Kitty, tribal band. There it is. He's just pacing in the lobby. Oh, I'm gonna kick his ass. <laughs> but he's pacing on little spindly legs because he only works out his upper body. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually making the Fred Flintstone twinkle toes sound. <laughs> 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 You're a dead man, Lynch. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to punch him in the face. I'm gonna give him a straight right. <laughs> a left hook. Finish him off with an uppercut. Oh my god. Because he can't lift his arms. Can't lift his arms. Right. Oh, fuck Troy. I'm not worried about Troy. I can outrun Troy. <laughs> you know who I am worried about hearing that song? Mike Tyson. What was I fucking thinking? Somebody is going to send him a link to that video on YouTube and he is going to find me and beat me into a puddle of oblivion. <laughs> I know it's going to happen. He almost did in Boston. Oh, that's right. We were doing a show in um, Boston at the Wilbur. Wilbur Theater right across the street on the same night Mike Tyson was doing his one-man show. <laughs> at the time, I was like, what the fuck could Mike Tyson possibly do a one-man show about? <laughs> Shakespearean sonnets. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? 